Taurus, what's happening, Bull Gang? It's Robin here. Welcome to my channel, Aries Fire Tarot. So, guys, I'm doing your Wealth and Abundance Tarot card reading for February 2022, and I will be using the Gilded Tarot deck to channel this message for you. My spirit guides are here. They will be guiding me through this reading, and I will be using the Divinity tool of the Gilded Tarot today. So, I hope you guys enjoy Keep in mind that this is a general reading for Taurus in Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And just a quick request for you guys to subscribe <clears throat> and drop me a comment. Let me have a sip of water and we'll crack on. Hold on. Okie dokes. Let's get it on, Taurus. I'm going to start pulling cards. I feel a lot of power here. I feel very significant guide just arrived. Okay, so... Got the Knight of Swords. Honestly, it's not saying anything to me at all. I'm just really fixated on that that beam of light there, okay? Right here with the sword. Okay, when, when you read with me, you guys, you can focus on the book meaning of the card if you know it, but like my guides start talking as soon as I flip over a card. So how many of you have been seeing specific streams of light or possibly orbs around you you could think you saw a reflection of something there's something kind of otherworldly going on for you <clears throat> i feel like you guys are missing angel numbers hold on for a second okay so here's what i'm getting from this card Here's your homework, okay? So the next time that you see a little blink of light and you think, uh, that's nothing, or you think you see an orb, or if you have a companion animal and you notice them staring off into the corner or they're distracted and you can't see anything, take note of the time that that is happening. It's like you're getting a signal from somewhere that wants you to start listening to them, okay? So numbers are the easiest way for your guides to connect to you. So this is not about the lights that you're seeing. It's not about the sparkle in the corner. It's not about your cat freaking you out as they look at some sort of whatever that you can't see in the corner. It is about you recognizing that you need to look at exactly what time it is when that happens and then immediately go and search the angel number. And you're probably gonna have to do this for a little while as you piece together the messages from your guides. They're gonna use this as sort of a map to empower you forward to enable you to create the lifestyle of your dreams, okay? So I really feel like many of you are missing these messages because you're not making the connection. So that's what, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So we see a really fast turnaround, okay? As soon as you start putting two and two together and start reading these angel numbers, you might want to sort of copy and paste them into your notes or something like that with the date and time or if you want to handwrite notes or if you want to open a Word document or whatever and start numbering message one, message two, message three. And this is the work that is going to propel you forward and you can read them all. You know what I mean? In a sequence, when there's enough to, or you could act on them in an individual basis. You know what I mean? So this is, this is just a little bit of work to do. This is not a lot of work, okay? So I think everybody, you're obviously on a device of some kind. So that's it. That's the work that you have to do, to listen to your angels, to be guided by those spirits, and they are giving you messages on your timeline constantly. Start paying attention to those flashes and orbs, whatever they might seem to be. You know, you could be just batting it off like, oh, that's absolutely nothing, but 
on the grand scheme of things, following those messages that you're getting in the angel numbers, and they don't have to be triple numbers, by the way, or quadruple numbers. They can be any sequence, okay? So my favorite site to go to to interpret angel numbers is Sacred Scribe, okay? So you might just want to keep that bookmarked for yourself. And you can see when you start to listen to that, the ship is coming in in the background, okay? So there should be this fantastic evolution. And you've probably been getting signals for a while that you just didn't know what to do with. Oh, my house is haunted, you know? And maybe it is, that's cool. You know, if they're irritating you, you can ask them to leave. But these are definitely coming in from your angels. They are trying to attract you. Angel number 555 came up, okay? so. This is exactly what's going on. You're seeing this happen and you're like, well, I'm just going to blow that off. You don't want to think about it too deeply. It could even be scaring you. Some of you with a really high energy could have even experienced a light bulb popping, okay, or something like that, or a candle like appearing to gutter and then blazing up really high. And you're still kind of thinking, oh, you know, that was cool or whatever or that was scary but look at this this is a message coming in from on high from the angels don't worry you guys angels are non-denominational so whatever it is that you believe then they are here to support you <clears throat> let's just move on okay so you've got your happy life here everything's cool but there's room for a significant upgrade to happen to you and all you have to do is plot your course through these angel numbers that are coming in that you're obviously missing with the four of cups right now and just pay attention to these specks of light these orbs these energetic blasts you know you see that you look at the time you write it down if you don't have time to figure it out in that exact moment you do it later when you get home or when you whatever you when you have a second but this is the roadmap to your future of wealth and abundance, higher earning, higher power, higher tax bracket, better way of living. So start paying attention to these little flashes that you're probably not even giving a second thought to Taurus. Gonna be super important for you. So very interesting message for you, Taurus. I'm gonna wrap it up. Love and light, bye.